Barber stories. He was a child star. Let's pull up this. We got to see Barber story. We got to see Calvin's story, and he was in the swing, and he was like so fast that he went around and flew off. Um, we saw a Walter story, which is wild because it was like our uncle, and he was living under our house for 30 years, and he finally decided to break free and go up, excuse me, outside, and he got hit by a train. So, lots of anguish, lots of death, lots of secrets in this game. Um, let's go ahead and jump back into it. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. She's referring to her mom. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. Oh, a tree house. But looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. I knew she was pregnant. Whoa. Whoa. Let me touch me see. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh my god, jump, jump, just jump. Fine. Go here? It has to be where I go. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Okay, from what I remember, Sam is the one who went to the army, hence the camo and the American flag. Oh, on your story. They were both pretty intense. Story right there. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Okay. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Do. Just gonna look around before we get into the story part. Okay. So is this still part of the house? This is like one of those tall pieces of top. Dawn, I promise, you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Perfect. It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? I will 
Never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Right, Dad, it's starting to clear up. Still freezing, though. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. <laughs> I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Last time I was with Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. Dad! Good eyes, Don. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Great shot, Don! <laughs> I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Oh. <laughs> I was so confused. Sorry, Don. Just got to reset the timer. <laughs> Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about. Dad. Oh! stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Don is her mom, yeah. yeah. Sven was her, I mean not Sven, Sven was her great grandfather. Sam was her grandfather.
After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... Guess that's a health Alright, let's start with the baby. Baby Gregory. Mm. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like, something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I think he saw things the rest of us don't. What's <laughs> supposed to be doing? Hold on, sweetie. Hello? That's your kid. Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. I wonder what he saw. What his world was like. Oh, look at him looking at me. Reminded me so much of Calvin. Lost in his imagination. Whatever it was he saw. the bathtub. Why'd you leave him alone? Hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. I wish he could have told us about the world he saw.
about everything. But I know what happened wasn't your fault. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Make him cry. photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power, but all my father said to this was, make the music louder.
I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. Destroyed the mood. She never talked about him, but mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Raise the flag. No. Can I go up? Oh. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. <sighs> she spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Okay, what's my name again? Edith. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. But it didn't last. Beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Because all we have left is Milton and Lewis. And that's it. I think we make good progress. And I think that's a good portion to keep for the final episode. So if you liked this video and you are enjoying the series, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.